In this demo, I'll cover creating a custom dashboard in vRealize Login Site Cloud. We have several out-of-the-box content packs that include dashboards, queries, and alerts. These typically include queries for errors occurring in the environment, but it can also include audit events such as object creations and deletions. Let's take a look at a dashboard. I'm going to filter for S3 to look at an AWS S3 dashboard, and I'm just going to click on the S3 overview dashboard. So this is a bunch of information that I have that's already available through a content pack, so I didn't have to do any customization to get this information. This dashboard is made up of various widgets, and they're just queries that are used to represent different data. So I can display the total count of events as shown here, or I can view the different events by user, by IP address, and by specific buckets. Let's open this query to view the details. I'm going to expand this log message. This is where I can view the available fields, which there are several. And this is all information that happens upon ingestion of the log. So you don't have to do any of this. This is all available for our AWS logs. So there's two items of interest here. I have this event type, which is stating that it's an AWS API call. And I also have the event name. And this has the details of what the API call is actually doing. I may want to find out which types of events are going on. So I'm going to expand this query so I can see the details. Now I want to make some modifications because I don't necessarily care about these other fields. I don't want to look at API calls specific to just S3 or API calls specific to CloudTrail. What I'm really curious about was this event name detail. So I need to add a filter for event name. And I don't care what the value is, I just want logs where the event name exists. Currently, I'm viewing the events as a single value. I want to change this. So I want this to just be a time series. And I want to group it by that event name. So now I'm getting all of the event types for AW as API calls in the environment, and I'm getting those event names. So I'm grouping by the event name, and if I expand this, I can see the different details. Note there are lots of different events going on in the environment, and this is only looking at the last five minutes of data. Now that I have this information, I want to save the query, and I was looking at the total number of AWS Cloud Trail S3 API calls, and since I've modified the query, I'm going to update this. So we're looking at the API calls by event name. And this is helpful because if I want to be notified of specific things that are happening in the environment, I can further filter the event name to the events that I care about. Now that I've saved the query, I'm going to add this to a dashboard. I've already created a custom dashboard with various API activities or AWS activities. So I'm going to add this to my AWS logs dashboard. And now I have all the details on the API calls by event name. One item we don't have dashboards for are the cloud services platform logs. These logs contain information about activities related to logging into and updating objects in the cloud services for any of the vRealize services I'm consuming. I'm going to start by searching for CSP. Now, if I expand this log message, I'll get the details, and I want to make sure this is actually a CSP log. And if I look at some of the fields here, I'll see the log type is in fact CSP audit. If I look at the type option, 
it's giving me the details of what activity is being performed. And so I'm interested in knowing all of the different types of activities that I might have for that specific log type. So I'm gonna add some filters, one being the log type. Now I know from searching for this that these logs start with CSP. And I want to make sure that they have that type value because that's the information that I'm interested in. Again, so instead of contains, I'm just going to put exists. And then I can clear the CSP option from here because I'm specifically changing it so that I know the log type is a CSP log. And then I'm going to update that. Now, because I'm concerned with the type I'm going to group by the type. And now over the last five minutes, I've got a couple of different things that are occurring, generating tokens and user login. So let's extend, extend this out to 24 hours. And now I have a few more values, um, things like remove user from the org are in here as well. So with that, I want to save this query. I'll just save it as CSP log activity types. Now, prior to this recording, I had already saved a couple other filters that I had. So I did um, queries for revoked API tokens, API tokens by user, just a grouping of the audit log. So let me just expand one more of these. So I'm just looking for the specific log type equals C or starts with CSP. And so this is just giving me all of the logs for CSP. Now I don't have a dashboard of this, but I have several queries. So what I wanna do is go back to dashboards and I'm gonna create a new dashboard. I'll just call this dashboard CSP log, and I'm gonna search for all of the queries that I just created, and we'll have the CSP audit logs overview. I'm just going to place up at the top here, and we'll make that a little bit bigger. And then we'll do the API tokens by user. And just the various logs will just drag on here. Now that I've got all of the queries that I want on this dashboard, I'm just going to save it. And then if I go back to the dashboard workbench and I search for my CSP logs, I'll see that in here. And I wanna make sure that this is available to all users of the platform. Any user can have access to it. And we'll just grant them read access, but if I wanted anyone to be able to edit it, I could do that as well. Now you have access to a dashboard for all your cloud services platform logs.